HVAC utility construction system, or heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, provides comfortable indoor environments by regulating temperature, humidity, purity, and air circulation in a building. Therefore, in this video you will learn HVAC terminologies, process of heat transfer, types of heating distribution system, types of heat sources, kinds of furnace, kinds of heat pumps, types of ventilation system, types of natural ventilation, types of mechanical ventilation, types of hybrid ventilation, kinds of fans, components of air conditioning system, types of air conditioning system, components of HVAC systems, kinds of HVAC fans, kinds of AHU, components of air handling unit, HVAC utility construction system. General terminologies. Temperature, the measure of hotness or coldness of a matter. Humidity, amount of water vapor in the air. Hot, a high thermal energy, causing a high temperature. Cold, a low or non-thermal energy, causing a low temperature. Heat, is the transfer of thermal energy between two objects with different temperatures. Heating system uses thermal energy to produce and maintain mild indoor air temperature. Ventilation system regulates air circulation to improve air temperature and humidity. Air conditioning system controls the temperature, humidity, and purity of air in a specific indoor space. Evaporation, the process by which liquid turns into gas. Condensation, the process by which gas turns into liquid. Process of heat transfer. 1. Conduction. Heat is transferred by direct contact in a solid or liquid. 2. Convection. Heat is transferred by moving particles of liquid or gas. 3. Radiation. Heat is transferred by means of electromagnetic waves in the surrounding matter. Types of heating distribution systems. 1. Direct heating, uses a ductless furnace, a fireplace or an electric space heater, that warms the air of a single area. 2. Forced air distribution, uses an air duct, to distribute the heated air of a furnace or heat pump. 3. Based board heating, uses a perforated rectangular casing, equipped with a series of aluminum fins, attached to a metal pipe that is heated by a boiler or an electric heater. Typically installed on interior perimeter walls, especially under the windows. 4. Hydronic heating, uses a series of sealed pipes embedded on interior floors, that is heated by a boiler or a heat pump. Also used for swimming pools, and to melt snow on driveways. 5. Central heating, uses an exposed radiator, that is connected to a metal pipe which is heated by a boiler or a heat pump, to warm a room via radiation or convection. Types of heat sources 1. Fireplace, a partially enclosed structure used for burning woods, that is equipped with a chimney. 2. Furnace, an enclosed appliance that generates heat. 3. Boilers, an enclosed vessel used to heat water or to provide steam. 4. Heat pumps, an engine that extracts heat from the surrounding, amplifies and transfers heat to a specific area. Can be used for both heating or cooling interior spaces. 5. Electric heaters, a portable electric device that converts electric current to heat by means of emitting radiant energy from the resistors. Kinds of furnaces 1. Combustion, burns gas, oil, wood, or other things in a chamber, to produce hot air. 2. Electric, uses electricity to heat a device that warms the collected air. Kinds of heat pumps. 1. Air source, transfers heat from the outside air to water, which heats your rooms via radiators, or underfloor heating. 2. Water source, extracts and disperses heat by water. Most efficient type of heat pump. 3. Geothermal source, uses the constant underground temperatures of the shallow earth as thermal storage that enables efficient heating and cooling. Types of ventilation system. 1. Natural, uses windows, screen, 
air well and other building opening to allow the normal circulation of air flow in an indoor space. 2. Mechanical, uses electric machines and air ducts to provide and channel air circulation in an indoor space. 3. Hybrid, uses both natural and mechanical type of ventilation. Types of natural ventilation. 1. Single side, an indoor space that has one-sided wall opening, in which the cold air enters on the lower portion of the window, and hot air exits on the upper portion. 2. Cross flow, an indoor space that has two-sided wall opening, in which the cold air enters on the high pressure area, and hot air exits on the low pressure area. 3. Stack or thermal buoyancy, an indoor space that has one or several wall openings in which the cold air enters, while hot air rises up and exits on an atrium, roof vent, or a higher wall opening. 4. Top down, an indoor space that has wind scoop tower, in which the cold air enters downward to the interior space, while hot air exits on low pressure area. 5. Positive input ventilation, an indoor space that has an air sucking device, in which the cold air enters downward to the interior space, while hot air exits on wall openings. Types of mechanical ventilation 1. Exhaust, uses a mechanized fan attached to an air duct that sucks out unwanted air, to depressurize an indoor space. 2. Supply, uses a mechanized fan attached to an air duct that sucks in fresh air, to pressurize an indoor space. 3. Balanced, uses both exhaust and supply ventilation, that expels unwanted air and intakes of fresh air, it neither pressurize or depressurize an indoor space. 4. Spot, uses localized exhaust fan on small areas such as in bathroom or range hood. 5. Task ambient conditioning, uses localized supply fan on individual workstation. 6. Air curtain, uses a mechanized fan installed on top of a door, that creates an invisible air barrier over two different environments, it maintains the temperature of an indoor space. Types of hybrid ventilation 1. Alternate, uses mechanical ventilation at a certain time of the day. 2. Natural assisted, a natural ventilation that uses fans to enhance indoor air circulation. 3. Stack supported, a thermal buoyancy ventilation that is supported by a roof turbine. Kinds of fans 1. Ceiling fan, a fan that is attached in the ceiling soffit. 2. Wall mounted, a fan that is attached in the wall. 3. Pedestal, a fan that has a long base stand, and placed on top of a floor. 4. Desk fan, a fan that has a short base stand, and could be placed on top of a floor or a table. Components of air conditioning system 1. Compressor, acquires and compress refrigerant vapor coming from the evaporator to increase pressure and temperature, sending it to the condenser. 2. Condenser, an apparatus that converts gas into liquid, as the refrigerant travels in rows of tubes attached to several fins, the heat is blown away and the vapor cools down. 3. Expansion valve, acquires and expands refrigerant liquid coming from the condenser to decrease pressure and temperature, sending it to the evaporator. 4. Evaporator, an apparatus that converts liquid into gas, as the refrigerant travels in rows of tubes attached to several fins, the heat is absorbed and cold air is blown to be supplied. Types of air conditioning systems 1. Floor standing a dual unit of cooling and heating machine that is floor-mounted, having a hose that needs to be connected on its outdoor unit. 2. Portable, a single short indoor movable cooling machine that is floor-mounted, having a hose that needs to be placed outside of the window to excrete unwanted air and moisture. 3. Window type, a single indoor cooling machine that is window or wall mounted, exposing its rear end on the exterior side of the wall, so it can excrete unwanted air and moisture. 4. Floor mounted, a dual unit of cooling and heating machine that is wall mounted very close to the floor, that needs a small hole in an exterior wall so that it can be connected on its outdoor unit. 
5. Ductless mini split type, a dual unit of cooling and heating machine that is wall mounted close to the ceiling, the outside unit can be connected to multiple indoor units. 6. Hybrid split type, a split type machine that uses an electric heat pump for air conditioning, and a gas powered furnace for heating rooms with colder temperature. 7. Central, a dual unit of cooling and heating machine that is attached to a supply and a return air duct. 8. Packaged heating and cooling, a single outdoor cooling and heating machine that is attached to a supply and a return air duct. Components of HVAC systems 1. Air duct, an air conveyor connected to the AHU, used to supply conditioned air and discharges contaminated air. 2. Damper, controls the amount of fresh air and return air that enters, circulates, used, and expelled from the system. Has several kinds such as supply, return, inlet, and exhaust damper. 3. HVAC fan, fans that are integral part of an air duct system, such as the supply and return fan. 4. Air handling unit or AHU, a large metal box containing various devices, that purify air, regulate temperature, humidity, and supplies conditioned air through air ducts. 5. Primary pump, transfers the water from the cooling coil to the chiller, or transfers the water from the heating coil to the boiler. 6. Chiller, a mechanism that cools water coming from the cooling coil of the AHU, then sends the water to the cooling tower, back to chiller, and back to the cooling coil. Seven. Condenser pump, transfers the water from the chiller to the cooling tower. 8. Cooling tower, a machine that eliminates warm water coming from the chiller, by spraying the water down, heat is then removed by a fan on top of the tower, then fresh air intake cools the water. Which is then supplied back to the chiller. 9. Secondary pump, transfers the cold water from the chiller going back to the cooling coil, or transfers the hot water from the boiler back to the heating coil. 10. Boiler, a mechanism that produces hot water or steam for central heating. 11. Thermostat, a device that monitor and regulates the temperature of the cooling or heating system, to satisfy the indoor air quality needed by the user. 12. Attenuators, a device that reduces noise on an air duct system, also known as duct silencer. Kinds of HVAC fans 1. Axial fan, containing blades perpendicularly attached to the shaft, that causes air to flow through in it in an axial direction. 2. Forward curved centrifugal, containing lots of shallow blades, curve into the direction of the wheel rotation, best for situations that require a large volume of air at a low speed. 3. Backward inclined, containing few large curved blades, curve away from the direction of the wheel rotation, that enables better air flow. Kinds of AHU 1. Blow through, having a fan placed after the air filter, that pushes the air through the cooling and heating coil inside the AHU towards the supply duct. 2. Draw through, having a fan placed after heating coil, that pulls the air towards the supply duct. Components of Air Handling Unit 1. Air Filter, an apparatus that eliminates air impurities and dust. 2. Cooling Coil, an apparatus that absorbs warm air passing through the coils and transfers the heated liquid to the chiller and provides cold air. 3. Heating Coil, an apparatus that absorbs cold air passing through the coils and transfers the cold liquid to the boiler and provides hot air. 4. Supply fan, an apparatus that pulls or pushes fresh air on the supply air duct. 5. Fan motor, a machine that keeps the supply fan from rotating. For safety and security utility system, watch the next video on College of Architecture channel.